What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the Gentry and Sons YouTube channel. So before we get in the truck and we head to Canada, I want to show you guys where we're at with the giveaway truck and the bass boat. We've, we've got a whole bunch of stuff that just showed up for this thing. We've had it in the shop, completely redoing the gel coat. I mean, this thing is going to be a brand spanking new boat when we get done with it. And it's turning out amazing. Right, so here's the gel coat. We just got done with the gel coat on this side. So this is where we started with. I mean, it's not bad, but I wanted to bring the shine back and make it look brand new again. So that's what we've been working on. The electronics have showed up for it. I got a Helix 9 that's going right there on the dash. I've got another one that's going up front with a new uh, Minn Kota trolling motor. We're going through the whole interior of it, seats, carpet, I mean the whole nine yards. My papa built this uh, Mercury 150. So when he gets ready for a new motor, he'll just go and have it completely rebuilt. So this thing's got a new foot on it. It's been repropped, all new electronics. This motor will flat out rip. And this is one of my favorite motors on, on a boat. So this ain't the right cowling for it. It is an XR6, but it's XR6 150. This thing will absolutely fly. So we're working on this. We're getting ready to pull it off the trailer, get the trailer ready to go. Windshield, um, like I said, getting their electronics put back on it. We're gonna put all the lights on the inside. That way at night it all lights up inside the boat. And one thing about it, if you take this thing to a bass tournament, when y'all launch, this is gonna be one of the boats that'll be the front of the pack. And that's what I like about it. When I repropped it, I took it out and ran it and it it scared the crap out of me how fast this thing is. I wouldn't, I opened it up pretty good. I didn't go wide open. Um, I wasn't familiar, you know, I wanted to get familiar with the boat first. So once we get all this done, we're gonna put it on the water here next week. Go out for a top speed run, see how good it runs. Show you guys how good it runs. And uh, hopefully here soon, when you guys are gonna be winning this thing. So if you go to gentryandsonstrucking.com, every $5 gets you to enter to win the Bass Boat and the Duramax, which we just rolled out of the shop today. We redid the paint on it and uh, put a, we put a leveling kit on it, redid the paint job on it. I mean, this truck turned out absolutely insane. All right, here she is, guys. Look how shiny this thing is now. So Rick, I mean, hammered the paint job out on this thing. I didn't think we were going to get it done in time, but he did. I just rolled it outside. I haven't washed it yet. I want to show you how good this thing's shining. Got the leveling kit put on it, so it's sitting nice and pretty. Golly bum. It's one of them deals again. I fixed up a truck that I really, really love and getting ready to get rid of it. So here it is in the light a little bit. You can see it in the light. So guys, this is the Duramax that I bought. I don't know, I've had it probably a year or so. And I was gonna build this truck for me. I ran it on boats for a little bit, but I wanted to build it for me. And then here I am doing a giveaway with it. We put new seats in it, went ahead and redid the interior. And of course, you know us, we're not gonna let something out, out, of, out of our shop that don't run like a scalded eagle. So guys, if you want to get entered to win the Duramax, like I said, go to gentryandsonstrucking.com. We got a few more weeks left on the giveaway and a lot more to do to these things. So we'll keep you updated as we go. I know I've been super busy and I hadn't got to give a whole lot of updates on them, but I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to start giving some updates because we got to get this giveaway going. And uh, right now you've got a really good chance of winning them. I've not promoted this thing a whole lot. I'm not promoted on anything but right here on YouTube. So if you want a chance to win a nice boat in the truck, it's probably going to be this giveaway. So anyways, guys, we're going to get in the truck. We're going to get to Canada and uh, let's go. So since the, uh, I'm having some issues with the RGN. I ain't had time to fix it and we've got to get this thing delivered this week. So we're going to put it on the step deck. We've already took the tires off. Now it's time to move the truck. Hey, that.
six, he said. We're going to take the Coronado, but we've decided to just take Rooster instead. Rooster needs to go on a trip anyway. This fuel guzzling monster is getting some fuel. So this thing has 200 and something gallon tanks on, two tens, I think. It had a quarter of a tank in it. I've already put 250 gallons in it. Most trucks hold 300 gallons. You very rarely see two tens. She's full. That motor's beautiful. Yeah, I hate to get it dirty. You think I'll use it all going up there and back? With me driving it, I drive like a freaking grandma. Yeah, but I'm gonna drive some too. I'm telling you, baby in this thing, it still don't get no. Like she's a four mile gallon truck, I'm sure. We might get five or six. I don't know. We'll just have to see. It'd be interesting to see because we're fi let's completely fill it up, Dad, so I can check the fuel mileage on it. This motor's only got like three thousand miles on it, so it ain't really broke in, you know, real good yet. Honestly, don't think I've ever driven a cat. I've only driven deep It's different. You'll see, it's completely different. So little bro's going with me. He wants to drive. I'm gonna let him, because I don't want to drive. <laughs> All right, everything's tight. We got everything we need. Man, this thing's beautiful. Guys, we got all of our tools in the truck. Uh, everything I could possibly think that I would need, just in case. It's tied tight on, it ain't going nowhere. Rooster's ready to go, as far as I know. Everything works, just like it should. No. This is the first trip we took Rooster on since uh, uh, started thing? Yeah. Let me get up here. Starter's working. Oh, I gotta go up to the house real quick, grab my... Oh, what the heck's wrong with my seat? Peter, help me tell. That don't even go together. All right, guys, we're rocking and rolling. I'm in the passenger seat. Little bro's driving. This is the first time I ever get to drive rooster. Yeah, I love it. There's not in a million years because you ever told me if we'd be driving down the road together. You driving a semi down the road with me for one, but. I mean, back in the day, did you ever think? <laughs> <laughs> we were driving our piece of crap vehicles around us. Dude, do you remember that freaking Explorer? Oh my God. It didn't have a switch. You had yeah. to start it down here. Yeah. It was bypassed. And it was so hard to start. Did Ash yeah. Poor Ashley got stuck. Oh yeah, dude. On the side of I remember her screaming at you on the phone because she couldn't get it started. I felt so bad over that. What did I trade you for that? Like the Saturn? Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. So then I went built time on Saturday. Yeah. And uh, I went and got her the focus then. And then she was having no way the Bonneville. Yeah. The two no Bonnie the Bonneville, like the two tone Bonneville. Yeah. Never had a different color bumper on it. <laughs> the guys like look, when I tell you we grew up poor and that's where we learned to be happy and we learned to get our 
like learn to get our work work ethic and learn to be happy is like we grew up dirt poor doing yeah. that. that like, <laughs> a six hundred dollar car was something. That, oh yeah, I love this thing. Oh man, Dude, remember when we first got our first box too? Yeah. Oh god, we were on cloud nine. I'm talking about the world had just turned over and it was insane. Um, but we made the best of it. We traded and traded and traded. That's how we got nicer things, like the Toyota, the Tacomas and stuff. And like we just kept trading up, trading up, trading up. And then one day I'm pulling into the driveway with a new F-250 power stroke. Hey, and that silver one? Yeah. Hey, that silver truck was bad. Yeah, it was. That thing was mean. And that's when I really started making money. I went and got that Traco and then, um, so, and we've had a lot of restarts too. Cody's been in the military for the last, what, eight, eight ten years? And then, um, Dude, when I married Nicole, nine years ago, I had zero dollars. Yep. Dude, remember that big old van we used to drive back and forth down to the river, the blue van? <laughs> Dude, remember that S10 dad gave me when I was 16? Yeah. That, like Christmas music in reverse? Yeah. Even got to go to the military is because you replaced those bearings in that uh yeah little cavalier that cavalier and i sold it for a thousand dollars and that paid off all my bills that i had that were so going to keep go. me from going yeah i remember when you were going to working out and starting to go and um doing the whole recruiting thing and the only reason i went was because of dustin because he, he was going yeah and i'm like there's no way i'll ever join him. I couldn't believe it. I wanted to go so bad, but I just had too much life and too much messed up in my life. Or <laughs> I feel like it's not for. It's for some people. Yeah, you know, I can't. Yeah, I don't think I'd be a good military person. Uh, Anyways, guys, Cody's got his CDL. Um, you know, he was driving a little bit, and the whole reason for him to get out of the military was to be home with his family. Well, it's hard to drive a truck and be home with your family, so he's kind of having a hard time right now trying to balance that whole um, so he got a really good job up here in Knoxville and um, we actually might be doing some work for them coming up like they, some, they got some big oversized stuff coming out of there of course so, I got them. Like, as soon as I got there I'm like yeah my brother got all that yeah. <laughs> let, me you, let me hook you up with a vendor so it worked out pretty good but um He's been missing the truck, so I'm like, well, let's just go get this, let's go up here and get this trailer and go make this deal. So when I get back, um, I've got a big, uh, I've actually already talked to one customer. Um, I've got a lot of work already lined up for this trailer. So this trailer is a $150,000 investment. It's not like it's a 50 or $60,000 trailer. This is a $150,000 trailer. And you guys will see why once we get there and you can see the trailer and all that and what it will actually do. And this trailer earns, you know, $30, $40, $50 a mile. Like, you don't even price the loads with this trailer by the mile. You price it by the job, by the size of what you're pulling. And we had this thing built to be able to pull helicopters, big, gigantic yachts. I mean, there is not much of anything that I cannot put on this trailer. You guys will see it in the morning. We're headed up now to go meet the guy and get it. So I bought the trailer, had it completely custom built. They got it done. And then um, I realized I was gonna have a problem getting it over the border. So I've got um, a company up here that's gonna bring it from Waltron over to me so we're going to go up there and do an interview with them and all that stuff and check the place out um on our next trailer so they're getting ready to build our new another new trailer for us so we're going to go up there and check them out and let you guys meet them and see the place and all that stuff and then on the next trailer we should be set up to bring it over ourselves here we go we got what 600 miles to go 500 and something 600 miles to go baby so Cody's going to do some driving tonight. Uh, I've been up for two days trying to get everything set up to go up here. So he's going to drive tonight and then uh, I'll get some rest and then drive home tomorrow. 
All right, guys, we figured out the buggies issue. Everybody says you can't come here in a truck. Well, if you, oh crap, look what he just did. Oh my God, he ran over the darn cones. Oh crap. Dang. How is that lucky? I had the camera on. All right, so anyways, guys, so Rooster don't identify as a truck anymore. Rooster identifies as a chicken with a, or an RV. I mean, you can, he identifies as both, don't he? It's a chick V. Yeah. <laughs> so, chick V, you calls him. It was all good. She said, oh, well, if he identifies as an RV, I guess he's all right then. They didn't want to argue. So, there we go. We made it. You got the chicken sandwich, Braxton barbecue sandwich. Look, he's still got two of them underneath that truck. I guess he didn't see them. Hey. Oh, did you see that? That dude ran over all them cones. <laughs> Guys, my favorite part of the trip. We're rolling into Cincinnati. Ooh, I love that view. Look at that. Dude, ain't it awesome? That is nice. Dang. Dude, this is all I used to look forward to every week coming through and get my taters. Made this trip many times. I like the Cincinnati side once you get down here past the bridge. I think it should be right there somewhere. When you come off the hill. You know what I mean? I used to love every week I come through here loaded taters. I'd just find me somebody race up this hill coming back the other way. This is the test. That hill right there, Tess, that's your test. That and Jellicoe Mountain. Jellicoe's pretty good. Yeah. It was like every week it'd be whoever hit it the right way or the fast. Me and Dad would come around through there. I'd be over there in the uh, emergency lane, cut the corner and get it, hit it faster than him. <laughs> there she is. Cincinnati, baby. That's my favorite part of this whole trip. Rolling into Cincinnati. It's not right, is it? No. No, it's not right. no stay to your left. You're to Dayton. Alright, guys, we made it to uh, here at Wadhams Road in, on 94. So, this is usually the loads that I stop and fuel at before I go across the border. So we're almost to Port Huron. I think we're probably another 30 minutes from Port Huron. So they can't meet me till in the morning, about 9 or 10 o'clock. We got into a shady situation. <laughs> we found the only motel available. It's pretty cool though. This guy's awesome. <laughs> Holly, quit. Okay, okay, go. <laughs> Dude, this is the best go, ever. Go, go. I love my life. Get him, Holly, get him. Go get him. He's letting you stay. This is our apartment house. I, I say you park over there. This is good parking because yeah. morning our contractor, three vehicles come. He's under remodeling process. Oh, okay. So you're remodeling the apartment. Plumbing, all from remodeling. So that's why you want me going by 9.30? Yeah. <laughs> no, not that's why. Because see, my wife is not here right now. She is in Canada right now. Oh. In Toronto. I have my doctor appointment. Oh. So nobody take care here. Only my security. She is in room number one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I understand but now. Let's see. If last uh, up to you... 9.45 is fine, okay? Okay, thank you. 9.45, okay. Yeah, I'm tired, yeah. Yeah, 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 come, 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 come inside. All right. All right, come inside. Come on, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Okay. You have That's a... too bad you have, and the room is warm. Do you have, is, there, is that bathroom? Yeah. Okay. And this is your, if you need a key, if yep. you need a key, okay, All take right. a key here, okay? All right, thank you, buddy. You watch the TV or what, sleeping? 
Yeah, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and see, if you need more, more warm up, so I, I, I do warm up, okay? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Thank this you. This is very fine, medium. Yep, we're if good. If you watch, then you cannot sleep. So this is your bed. No roots, no bed bug here. Okay, it's no bed bugs. And good. make sure cleanliness, okay? Yep. Don't oh, yeah. get dirty. Yeah, we'll clean okay? her up. So 9.45, it's yep. fine? Yep, that's good. Okay, bye. Have a good Thank night. Thank you. Hey, buddy, come on. What's your name? <laughs> you good. Don't make my bed dirty, okay? You good boy. You are a government man. What is this? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye. You have a good yeah. night. You too. <sighs> what? <laughs> Dude, what did you get us into? <laughs> Dude, I just looked up best motel and like it had good reviews. Oh, he's a great guy. He's cool. It's a little rough. <laughs> it smells like freaking. Dude, it smells like a, it a smells pack terrible. of. <laughs> smells like a carton of cigarettes in here. Oh my gosh, look at this. No, dude, look at the sink. I don't know if I feel safe. I'm definitely throwing my clothes away after I sleep. Look at the here. wallet. In the sink. Look at this thing. Oh my god. But he's a cool dude though. Great person. I'm gonna sleep on top of the sheets. Dude, I think I'm gonna go sleep in the truck. Y'all gonna have the room. <laughs> this is old and rinky dink as this place was. That guy was worth staying for. Alright, let's go get this truck fired up and go get our trailer. Woo! You ready? Dude, me too. That guy is so cool. Like, he's in there old hitting his tank top. He's like, man, you stay another day? He's like, come on, you guys stay another day? Thank you, Braxy. So boring. It's so boring, ain't it, Holly? All right, guys, we're going to get out of here. Let's go get the trailer. He's supposed to meet us at 10 o'clock this morning over here at the Welcome Center. Holy crap, guys, the trailer just pulled in here. This big, sexy 389. God, that thing is wide. Oh, dang, boys. Here it is. What's up, brother? Yeah, this is the first Yeah. Holy crap, dude. Look at this thing. Not a bad way to spin a Ferrari. <laughs> Dude, look at that. How's she pull? She pulls nice. Man, I'm a excited. Bit, a little bit bigger than uh, what they usually send me with, but. Yeah. No, this is a, I got the big boy, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have the big boy. That's why I didn't bring her all the way down. Okay. Or well, I would have been happy to. Yeah, it'd been cold to have you come and bring it to Tennessee, but I'd rather spend Christmas on this side of the border. <laughs> yeah, this thing is serious. God, ain't it serious? This thing's an animal, dude. Imagine this thing with a big black hawk on the back of it. <laughs> dude, this thing's gonna have some big black hawks on the back of it, some big yachts. I mean, there ain't nothing this trailer shouldn't pull. Dang. Water making units? Yep. Oh, dude, ain't, ain't it perfect for that? Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, you wouldn't even know it's back here. It's crazy. God, I want to stretch it just to see how it works. Oh, it stretches? Too? Yeah, look, you unlock that and it stretches 16 feet. Good lord. God, guys, this thing, thing is crazy. crazy. Yeah, we'll go through it once we get home. Let's get it hooked up, guys, and get out of here. I can't wait to weigh it and see what it weighs. <laughs> it's got some weight to it, that's for sure. Golly bum. It shouldn't have no problem pulling anything. Must be pulling some big yachts with this thing. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. Holy crap, I can't believe it. 
If this is how guys feel when they buy Ferraris, then uh, I get it. I could go buy a Ferrari. Skinny. Oh, that's what customs gives me an issue for. I want to suggest the trailer. It doesn't come with the boat. <laughs> <laughs> My wife belt fell over. I was like, well, we got to have it, honey. I've got more coming. Y'all put pressure on it, I'll pull it. I got that. Just get him unhooked. I'm ready to get out of this cold weather. Baby, big new wagon, son. All right, Brax, your turn. Let's get her hooked up, bud. God dang, rooster. <laughs> Never. We, me and Rooster had this conversation about four years ago. I said, Rooster, we were driving down the road one day. I said, Rooster, one day we'll have one of them big, fancy, wide belly trailers that we can haul anything on. He said, all right, Dad, let me just sails down on her a little bit. So he started getting better fuel mileage, and then, well, here we go. That's all he he drive better than most adults I know. So this wagon is pulling pretty good. So I just talked to Craig at Waltron. So if you guys call Waltron and need a trailer built, the man you want to deal with is named Craig. You call Waltron and deal with Craig directly. He is the man, let me tell you. He is awesome. Uh, he's great to deal with, especially through the whole process. I didn't have to do nothing. Just tell him exactly what I wanted. We would go over and over on the phone and he'd send me pictures and 3d printouts of what we looked up and how we wanted to do it and all that and how we wanted i mean even down to the lights how i wanted the air dumps hooked up so this thing i could raise and lower this trailer from inside the truck by flipping a switch so he wanted to know how i wanted that air or wired up all that stuff and i mean down every little detail was super super convenient and easy so do get one built through Waltron guys and you can go on their website and see their trailers uh, very good company to deal with and they can build it in a timely manner you ain't got to wait no year to get you a trailer they built this one in like four months so uh, give them a call ask for Craig and uh, see, if, see what you guys think about them I've never went this way to Canada I've always went across Huron the blue water bridge on. No re-entry to USA. They, they get serious at the border, I'm telling you. It's scary. You know, you've flown. I have. Across the border. I have been there. But your military is so easy. Yeah. Does that make really it easier? It. They don't really You walk straight through the That's what I'm talking about. I don't even check my bag. I'm talking about. You don't even get your bag checked. Proud of you. I am. I'm proud to be your brother. Hey. In fact, you can do that. Hey. Not everybody can be as good as I know. Right? I'm very proud to be your brother. Not many people say that, but they're lucky enough to be your brother. Yep. 
pretty rare, actually. Pretty rare. All right. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Easy, rooster. Hey, say it was reindeer. I know. He about to cut it. He thought it was what it dog. So it was a reindeer. All right, we got a steep downgrade ahead. Woo-hoo! Dude, look at the ports. Oh, my goodness. This is like a shipping community. Maybe this is where we need to be. I thought this was steep. I thought I was going to use my deck for it. Michigan made. What? Dude, tell me ain't no work going on around here. If you ain't got a job up here, boys, there's something wrong. I see many jobs sitting around. guys we found the blizzard of 2023 right here in michigan we got some white out conditions ahead of us so i'm just trying to you know be smart about it i get too crazy we've already passed two wrecks so gotta get through all this all right guys we just had to stop the rest area i noticed that the truck's running up here about right in the middle where it don't ever run there it always runs down here right around in here 165, 170. So I'm thinking we got a coolant leak. Racks 30, so these, oh, I see, yep, I see smoke. Steam, dang it, where's my hoodie? Well, I thought it was leaking, but it's just the grill's full of ice. Blocking her up, you ain't getting no airflow. Well, that's fine, that's a good temperature for it. I mean, it ain't like it was running hot or anything. Oh man! Big Mac, baby! Big Mac trailers, huh? Yeah. Oh. I think it's just full of eyes grill. Yeah, just wasn't letting no airflow come in. to Kentucky, the big old KY, baby. And I got a dirty windshield, and my windshield washer is not working. And we've got a cracked windshield now, and it just keeps getting worse and worse as the trip progresses. So now, we gotta get home and get her fixed. Look at them tiny flashy glass back there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you look brand spanking new. Rooster got some miles put on him in this trip. Come on now, get out from beside me, you peoples. You know better than hide beside Rooster. Rooster don't put up with that garbage. What are you trying to do here now? You want over here? Well, let me get out your way there. Guys, we just went around Cincinnati. We went 275 all the way around. All right, so my windshield washer been working. Look, it'll work over there. It ain't working over here, though. I gotta figure that out. We need washer fluid. Here we go. Rock and roll. You want to just stop and let Rob look at this trailer? Is that what you're saying, Rex? Fine. That's what we'll do then. I don't like it to stay a trooper on my tail end back there though. They're the ones that flip the scale closed when we come through there. It ain't my fault that they done that. You guys, later as we were coming up the scale, they flipped the sign to closed. <laughs> so I just kept on rolling. Hey. Good trailer brakes. Sunny's? Shoot, I can't do that. Uh-huh. Last time I ate there, I about died. Oh, yeah, but... Remember that? Yeah. Anything, 
Smoking guys or vaping, whatever you want to call it. Um, I kind of use these rope things a little bit, but I'm trying to quit that too. So I don't really like it. It gives me heartburn. So I am down to just about nothing other than some potassium. Uh, today I've had some potassiums. It's actually not too bad to quit. My feet get cold. You get cold. I ain't got no shoes on. I'm bigger. Watch Kate Cody out and put him up here and I get the van. I take the point. The point stretches? Yeah. Yeah, you just hit that. Yeah. They go some of a gun, ain't it? Mm -hmm. That's nice, dude. That is so wide. Yeah. You just really don't notice how wide it is. I didn't realize how wide it was until I hooked to it. I thought, golly, wow. Black Hawk to sit right down in here, the wheels and stuff. Yeah. And then uh, the tail will sit right there on the back. That's your pads for your boats and stuff like that. It's got all your stands and stuff in the beams. Right in here in this pocket is where all the bars go. It's all the way across. Must be the one that goes across too. Yeah. Yeah. Turn that in there, I ain't stretched it yet, but damn, I'd say it's going to be long stretched out. It's stretched 16 feet. Well, that truck won't haul. You couldn't haul that truck on here. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. It's 47 feet from the bumper to the tail end. Is it that truck. long? It's 47 yeah, feet. Know. That's crazy. I got another axle for it too. It flips and goes on it. But if I want to run it. A flip axle? Yeah. Where's it at? I got to go up there and get it when I get done with it. See, I was going to have a big nice bumper built for it, but it's this is set up for a fourth axle. Yeah. That's nice. I mean, they ain't good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Light cord. I think it needs some stainless on it. Yeah. All these. Yeah. That's what I figured I'd get you to do stainless and some lights on it. They were gonna do light packets. I said, no, I'll let Rob do all that. Well, guys, we were uh, on a good mission home. Rob come looked at the trailer, and now we're going over here to look at this. He just stretched this truck, and he is very proud of it. And he's wanting us to go over here and look at it. So we're going over here to look at this big stretch truck. We're trying to come up with some ideas of what we're gonna to do to this trailer with stainless the light kit and then uh, the orange Argosy that we're building the bullets trailer. I mean, Rooster looks good pulling it, but that Argosy's going to, that's what's going to be pulling this thing full time. Well, she barely fits with that um, three axles. Holy crap. Dang. Double frame. Dang, come on, Rob. I told you, yeah, it would be something you'd see. Wow. Is that 315's on it, too? Yeah, on the front of it. <laughs> oh, dang. That's this is a big truck. Well, you completely transformed this bad boy. Huh? This thing's a whole nother beast. Bro, I put him together. Can't tell it. Double frame went back to 
here, it'll come back here, and I spliced it right in here. Not only got all them bolts. But it's double frame. It's double frame, not plug welded it in here. Welded all the holes up on the outside. Yeah. And I didn't go inside and weld them. Hell, if you break that right there. You break it from me, you've done you something. Yeah. Hell, it's double framed all the way back. All the way through. I mean, dang on. That's a beast of a frame right there, buddy. Yeah, that's a quarter inch frame. That's a, not a... It's three-eighths. Yeah. Yeah, that's thick right there. Oh, yeah. That's like rooster's frame, man. <laughs> Big boy. Big floaters. Golly. Well, it raised it up, didn't it? Yeah, it did. You got all of I could put a camper on it. Like a motorhome. Dude, this was literally just a, a glider, flat top glider a month ago. Uh, I thought I did good. We'll make a twin turbo out of a thousand horse. Oh, he's wanting to go that far with it? Jesus. Well, that makes more sense now with that big turbo. That. Yeah. Like the 10 inch stats. And then let's get the camper. Get the camper. We'll get 10 inch stacks 11 feet tall. <laughs> Rob, this thing is an absolute beast. Uh, I told you, talking about doing this frame, didn't hurt no gun. No, you got to witness this in person. Yeah. To really uh, take it in. You think Brad is that long enough? Yeah. Yeah. Rob, this thing is incredible. I took back here while I double framed it the rear. I put this cross over in. But I drilled it for one more. If did ever somebody did. thinks it needs it. It's done great. When he gets done with the camper, he's going up being there to get the camper on, and then he'll be brought back here. We're going to stay and sit out. Uh, I know, that's fine though. Your bill ain't high compared to a lot of shops that you go to. No. He bought the He gets six, seven hundred dollars for good framework. Oh, then he knows it's going to be. Oh. Man, that, that. I like how thick that table is. I want four inch. That's what I want, Rooster. Big like that. That looks way better. Than... It's rounded. It ain't got no weld in here. Yeah. It, it, we rounded it now. Guys, Rob's killing it up here right now. <laughs> He's, this truck's freaking awesome. Y'all better go follow him and watch him finish this thing out. So I guess you'll be after the camper's on it and all that. You'll be finished. Then we're going to bring it back and, and dial it up. Do all the stainless and lights. Do all the stainless all work on it. Lights. Uh, and go from there. Well, there you go, guys. Rob, SH Tube on YouTube. If you want to see this awesome truck you finished, it blows my mind how this truck will climb Delco Mountain. This trailer ain't lying. This trailer probably weighs 27, 28,000 pounds by itself, plus the truck. So we're, man, it's just, look at that. They just walk up this hill any speed you want it to go. Trying to control the boost, not put too much boost into it, but hey, touch the roll. <laughs> I know, you just touch it, just shoom. I don't think I got past eight eight the throttle the whole time. Yeah, that's crazy. I was running 75 all the way up here. I mean look at that. It just swamps right up the hill like it's another. Good temps. That cam injector combo and turbo combo is pretty good. It's pretty solid. Plus them big cubic inches, I guess that helps out a lot too. All right, guys, we made it back with the trailer. I'm already back in the shop getting busy. So I'll back this thing in. It's Christmas break time, so we're going to get a little bit more time to work on this thing. And I'm sorry, I know a lot of you in the comments don't get to see 
you know, there, we see, we've received a lot of hate comments over Weston Champlin's truck. So guys, just because you don't get to see us working on this thing in the background, don't mean we're not working on it. We don't film everything. And the things that we do film, some of them are gonna be in a longer video later on. And when this thing's done, we're gonna put one good long video together on it. Guys, this is a full frame off restoration. This ain't like just pulling a truck in here, sanding it down, painting it. You know, that's what we plan on doing to it when we started this deal. We didn't plan on doing a full, you know, frame off restoration. I mean, this thing's every nut, bolt, every bushing, bracket, engine, transmission, airbags, all your airlines, your wiring harness, the whole nine yards. So we've been trying to get all this finished. This is all tedious stuff that filming this stuff would take. I mean, it would be, um, you know, you're talking hundreds of hours of working on a truck. This ain't something that you build overnight. As of right now, we've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours into this thing. And when it's done, it's gonna be bad to the bone. So me and Weston's getting ready to collab on it. Like he's putting, you know, he's getting ready to start pushing some videos for us. Now that we're to the point to where we can start putting it back together and we're gonna vlog some videos on it. You know, I mean, it's to the point to where things will move along pretty quickly now. Now that the cab and the sleeper and the hood and the fenders and all the big stuff can go on it and we can fire it up and then, you know, start breaking it in, testing it, doing alignments. I mean, there's a lot left to do, but now a lot of it's just big stuff. It ain't the tedious wiring, hoses, airlines, engine work, transmission work, all that stuff's done. So interior's done. I mean, we're to the point now of just putting this thing back together. And I hope you guys are excited as I am, but we are back. The trailer is going to be tagged and insured, getting it all legal, ready to go pull some big boats. And uh, I'll make a video uh, stretching it out, getting it all ready to go and practicing with it and to show you just the potential of this trailer. It's going to be awesome. It's going to bring some awesome content. And it's also going to really take the business to the next level. Guys, I'm going to finish off the video there. I love y'all. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.